What do you guys think? Okay, vote in the chat. Press one for FL Studio problem and press two for bad gear. Ooh, looks like I'm kind of split here. Uh, seeing more ones. Oh man, I don't know, dude, this is tough. Okay, maybe we'll have to do both. I'm gonna try to do both. Okay, we'll do uh, the FL Studio problem first and then we will do bad gear. We'll do the lo-fi bad gear. I use Windows, I use gaming computers. Well, yeah. Seen one bad gear, I've seen them all. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. Okay, we're gonna do the FL Studio problem and then we're going to bad gear. I use Windows, I use gaming computers. Well, yeah, Fruity Loops. When I started with Fruity Loops, it wasn't on Max. Like that. Max loud as hell, man. We call that Max shit like the devil Fruity Loops does. Like, because it ain't the same sound. It don't sound the same. Like, <laughs> it's crazy how many like pro producers were fooled by this. That like, you know, it, it hits harder on Windows, man. Yo, FL10 hits harder. The, uh, the drums thinner. Like, it's just different. Man. I still use Fruity Loops 11, 11 and 10. Like, it looked totally different and all that. But they don't have that for a Mac. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's a different. Oh no! Hey, hey, hey! This is my thing, George T. This is my thing, George T. No, I know what's about to happen. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! I know it's no. Down and with No, 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 no. That's why I see him. No, 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 ah, no. They made fruity loops. My th no, dude. It's, it's called too easy. FL Studio Too easy. It was one of the most widely used dolls among producers today. While many know of its popularity amongst the producer community, little know about the controversy. Background music's crazy, dude. Are we about to find out how FL inspired some murderers? Behind the sonics of the doll. The new FL's like, sound-wise, the sound is more polished. In today's video, we're going to be investigating the sonic secrets behind FL. Holy sh Check out that drum pattern. Fucking fire, dude. Studio. Why many claim it's louder than other dolls. I was in a loudness This is such an old problem, man. But I guess no one's really done a video talking about it. Or with Fruity Loops. And how different producers utilize different versions. The real dark side of FL Studio. The murders behind FL Studio. The doll. To get certain sounds. Uh, oh, that's the real reason I use 11, actually, is because of the... Back then, bro, this is this is FL Studios customer base right here. This dude, who is this guy? Does anyone know who this kid is? This is, the <laughs> you know who he looks like? That uh, that's KBZ. He looks like that. Um, <sighs> you know how they have like that bape meme? It's like a bape meme where it's like, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, there it is. There it is, dude. Dude, this is who he looks like. Oh my god, this is this is who that looks like, dude. This is him, but grown up a little bit. Back then in the world of audio, Pro Tools reigned king. But as more and more producers From started Zaza to use FL, many top tier mixing engineers noticed a difference in sound. When Fruity Loops first came out, it was so loud and their rough mixes were actually killing some of us engineers. I was in a loudness war with Fruity Loops. For some reason or, or another. Yeah, it's being freaking limited. Oh my God, how did no one figure this out? Whenever I get- Jason Joshua, I thought you were a pro, man. Six or 808s. From Fruity Loops, for whatever reason, because the platform is 64 bit flow. How did this have so many people stumped, man? How did this have so many people stumped? Like, everybody was stumped. Like, why is it louder? There's no, it's just magically louder. What? There's no way it's got compression or something. Isn't it even louder without limiting? Okay, so there's two reasons. One, uh, it, I think the earlier FLs had a built in limiter to it that pushed it up 5 dB. And then also, I think on the, I think it's the Windows FL Studio ASIO driver has like a built in clipper into it i believe i could be wrong but whatever the platform is it just comes to me louder it's called too easy, too easy. it just comes okay we gotta take a shot every time he shows that clip to me or joint whatever you got extremely aggressive now i'm not saying that it's too easy too easy remotely oh, dude caught it caught it close to where it got to but when i initially got it when you start from an eight you can make an eight a 12 mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. rather than a four mm -hmm. uh, a ten but what was it about the doll that made- He's a little unsure about what he was saying there. Inherently louder. Some say it was a soft flipper. The ASIO thing is just when you're monitoring, not on the final mix. Ah, gotcha. And the doll's limited. Yeah, see, I'm just going based off of like, you know, hearing about it because I don't I don't really use FL Studio. But well, others just say- I'm in a, um, a Stockholm Syndrome relationship with Ableton currently. It was due to the nature of how the doll was built. How can, how can a doll be loud? Just so we understand, like- Well, Fruity Loops soft clipper is- ah, okay. is amazing and the thing cool. really 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 gets uh records loud and okay. a lot of the the producers will you know do their rough mix and you know they put the fruity loop soft clipper and i'm talking everything's going through it vocals beat kick drums 808s and it would uh it would be extremely loud and extremely distorted but it had something to it
And it's because of those reasons that FL Studio became known for having an infamous knock and sound that no other dog could really touch. But it doesn't stop there. Not only does FL Studio have a distinct sound, but its different versions sound completely different according to different producers and mixers. Is it it's true? Different. Isn't that? It's different, bro. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you. You know you're going to have a YouTuber on there who'll be like. The new FLs, like, sound-wise, the sound is more polished, which isn't bad. How many times is he going to play these same clips? Yeah, like, it sounds better, really. George, you got to work. Hire me to edit, George. You know, but, like, my favorite FL is 10. I'm loving 21. The workflow and the features on all the new ones are better, but it's a different sound, bro. Like, on FL 10 or 11, you could, 10, 11, 11 and 10 and under, you when you push the sound like more closer to the red, like to um to like closer to the distortion. Dude, this dude needs to put down the weed, man. He's having a hard time getting a single sentence out. Clipping it make the sound like I don't know. It's some it's some in the program. We're telling people to hire you. We were, I'll still be able to do my thing, all right? Like, I'll still be able to do my thing. Plus, I'm making a joke. It distort without sounding like don't distort. It's just like man, it's dumping. Do your mixes sound extremely boring? Do you suffer from lackluster vocal effects that make your song What the hell, dude, this is the lowest quality clip I've ever seen. ...sound uninspired. Introduce- At 12p here. ...the legendary effects template. Your all-in-one solution for elevating your effects game. Unleash the power of 60 plus meticulously crafted custom vocal effects ad? inspired is by today's- This is a fucking ad? What is this sh ...top mixers. Available now through the link in the description below. Not only do many claim what that the, the hell, what even, what was that an ad for? Their versions of FL had a harder knock. They also had the legendary legacy effects, which allowed producers to easily modify and beef up their drums. Oh, that's the real reason I use it. I feel like he didn't really clarify exactly what the ad was there. Like, it was a legendary effects template or something. But, like, for what? Like, <laughs> what's in it? What am I using? What am I buying it for? Like, how much is it? You better keep doing your thing. Who's going to stop Andrew Huang's head from getting too big? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we got to keep that. We got to keep a helmet on them, motherfucker. 11, actually, is because of the... It's the FX knobs. The, amp the legacy yeah, effects. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. No, yeah. That, cha that, that changed so my, my channel, like, channel trajectory channel. as a producer. Yeah. Like, no lie. Because, like... Like before that, I could never get my drums hitting. I oh, found the new oh, the and they, the amp, the amp, and like the the out or like whatever the amp, yeah. the FX, all that stuff, yeah. Yeah. bro. They had that in twenty, yeah. or is it only in eleven? I think they added it back in twenty, yeah, but it's different a little in, bit or something. Yeah, but I don't know if they got all the options. But major gems, right. legacy right. effects are slapping, yo. Yeah, yeah. Right, and some mixers found. Bro, KBs, it looks like he's never done a push up in his life, and that's crazy coming from me because I also probably look like I've done like ten push ups in my life, but for sure he looks like he's done zero. He's done zero. Wait to incorporate these legacy effects into their workflows. Being at Triangle all those years, I would just be around nothing but Atlanta producers. Yeah. So you'd see Nash B, DJ Spen. ABZ for sure gets off camera and just says the N-word nonstop. Like every three words, just boom, 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 boom. And you'd see Pierre Bourne, like all these people all the time. And you're just watching them make beats. TM88, Fuse, Southside, Metro literally every day dy all those future sessions we will be a part of and you just watch them make beats you're just sitting in the back of the room and eventually you just realize like why don't you just take the kick if it's lackluster put it in fl and just you know pre-computed effects or just turn it way up and let fl clip it on its own just rebounce it and Bro, it's crazy how ignorant everyone is like in these clips like they're just like you know just take the kick put it in fl and it's just got that super thump it's crazy trim it to taste in pro tools again yeah honestly i hate watching people make beats unless it's like really cut it's like really punchy like the way ed talenti does it <laughs> His editing is really good, in my opinion. Everyone else that does it, though, it's boring as shit. And there's the knock right there. Like, it's like a two-minute process, at best. It's the new Lavery, man. It, it has its color. It has the sound. Everybody has it. However, amid the controversy, ImageLine began to take notice. Perhaps you've heard it watching YouTube videos or reading social media comments. FL Studio 11 hits harder than FL Studio 20. I like how they just exposed everyone. Like, they're like, you may have heard this from some f***ing idiot. Uh, FL Studio 11 hits harder. Well, you are f***ing wrong. FL Studio 11 sounds better than FL Studio 20, or some other variation on this theme. In Winnie this bad boo. video, we will prove to you why this absolutely and positively isn't the case. 
In this video, ImageLine would go on to explain that the reason these older versions sounded better. Bro, one thing about George T's videos, like the volume levels are everywhere, dude. I don't know what's going on, man. It's so easy to fix all volume, volume levels in Premiere. I don't know what he uses to edit. Maybe it's like Vegas or something. But in Premiere, you can literally just chop up the clips and then you just press like, you, like you tag it as a dialogue clip and then just set auto match and it puts it all to the same like LUFS. It was because of the limiter on by default in the template. The main reason some people perceive the audio quality of FL Studio 11 to be better is it opens with a default template that has a simple plus 5.5 decibel volume. What? This comes from a fruity limiter on the master FX slot 8. No. From Studio 12 what onward, we reset the gain on this default project to zero decibels. Oh my no god. Change. How did no one figure that out? They did, however, remove the legacy effects and then re added them later in FL Studio 20 under a new name. Despite the company's video, and various tests online comparing the sound of different dolls and different versions of FL Studio, many producers will still say that it has a sound to it. So who do y'all agree I with? I can't be wrong. I can't be wrong. It had a sound to it, all right? It had a sound. I, there's no, I'm never wrong. I've never been wrong once in my life. I've also never done a push-up once in my life. They can say what they want. <laughs> they can say what they want. That's like, it ain't even no shade. That's like maybe an aspiring doctor on YouTube is telling a fucking neuroscientist, a brain surgeon, like, no, he's wrong. No, he's... But what you doing though? Not even no shade, but I'm just being real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I done studied. It's a difference, bro. I got ears. I can't be wrong, all right? I can't be wrong. I got great ears. Like, it's a difference. And that don't mean it's bad. I feel like niggas get offended because they feel like it's bad. It's not bad. He just call himself a brain surgeon. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that video, taking a look at the FL Studio controversy. If you want more content like this, please do not forget to- I think people just get used to what they started with. I still use Photoshop from 2010 and keep lying to myself saying it's better. But I actually started paying for Photoshop because of the fing AI. Let's say like the bottom half of my body is cut off. You can generate lower with it. Like I can generate the rest of my shirt with it. That sh is like so useful for thumbnails. I actually started paying for Adobe because of that. Not because it's like moral. Yeah, I actually started paying for it because of that. Just that feature alone. Yeah, I know. I can't believe myself either. This was uh, FL Studio, the FL Studio problem by George T. Music. I'll link it in here. Make sure to follow and subscribe to him if you enjoyed this. He usually does a lot of videos about like uh, why every rapper uses compressor, Drake's recording secrets, stuff like that. Incorporated.